1983 engine and what we see here I hope you see are these stripe marks you even can hear them you see this? let's try it with a different light from machining the engine halves all these old cases have these marks see them? Weird. Bzz. Bzz. that's how engine cases looked for decades properly machined this means when the ceiling surface of the small half and from the big half, when they are even like that and probably machine, it's most likely also that they will be tight. Not leaking oil, not oil sucking, whatever. So this is the old 1983. Now have a look at the latest cases from 2001 on. You see this? There are marks, there are marks, there are marks. It's not even over the surface. You see? All of these cases, later than 2001, look like this. Which simply means that they are not properly machined. Both halves, small one and the big one. And I mean, they have these marks. Here you can see it. A bit. But, you know, a little bit here. But then you have again these spots where it is shiny. It doesn't look that not really properly machined at all. It, it is bad work. I don't know what happened from 2001 on it was. Maybe the old mechanic, the responsible guy in the factory, retired, didn't introduce the follower correctly or the younger one didn't give any shite. Whatever. This is the big difference. So if you... yeah, it's very obviously... it's better on video than on on the pictures, because there are quite some pictures online. And yeah, if you buy an engine case like this, or in general Piaggio, make sure you get an old one. Probably machined like this one. Decades, hundred thousands of these cases are out there. And avoid this one. What can you do against it? The, bit, the big half. You can sandpaper. I showed you how this works. Perhaps I'll include it in this video. Uh, the only problem with the small half is that you have this beam here, so it's not really easy to machine to sandpaper. Not to to sandpaper all the surfaces here. I mean, you can do it in this area. Better than nothing, because this is the bottom where it likes to drip. Yeah. Sad, but true. Oh, and when you put an engine together, always do use a rasp and round all of these edges. Because they are usually very sharp. Out of the factory, it shall look like that. And as you see here, that's a typical spot where an engine case from the outside gets hurt. So take a rasp and file it all off. This will also help that these engine cases then tight, no oil dripping, etc. Cheers guys, see ya.
And there we go. Oops. Let's check straight away the gasket. Ooh. What do we see here? Is that a dry gasket or is it a wet gasket? Oh my god. Look at this. there and look at the rest especially here around the bolt it seems to be nah, not really and the weak spot is here you can see the weak spot here It's about two, three millimeters compared to four millimeters here. Yeah, it's a bit of wet tissue. It should be dry, not wet. Look at this. There's oil everywhere. If we remove it, we can see at least one reason why. It is a crap case. Shall we see if there's oil in the crank case? I guess there is. Look at this. You see it? So, it was a gear box oil sucker, but not a big one. As the bolts were not that loose as they usually are. Small engine half, of course, the same. Oh, well. It's not allowed to be in there. Just wave washers. Bad machine engine cases. Yeah, usually they should have same marks, but they don't. See it? Lower here. It look. This part is okay. Yeah, all the old engine cases did look definitely better. That's okay, -ish, but not everywhere. Oh, look at here. That's a good example. How is it machined here? Doesn't seem to be machined here. Well, yeah, you know, you can see. This is different than this. There should be everywhere the same marks. But there aren't. We already know that. Beast! Sorry, yeah. Bist du deppert? Ist das ein Beast jetzt?